Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Now today I have stone number 200. And this is a very beautiful little stone, so sit back and enjoy. Now, in the rough, stone 200 weighs 8.1 carats, is 19.2 by 11.3 by 10 millimeters, and is from Wello, Ethiopia. As you can see, the stone has some sand on it. Parts of that go in pretty deep. It's got an amazing amount of color, but there are also some cracks. Now, looking at this stone, I am thinking that I'm probably going to have to cut this and go for two separate stones. And so I went ahead and I cut the stone. Piece A had this cool little triangular piece attached to it, which I ended up breaking off. This view gives you a really good glimpse of the sand and how far it goes into the piece. There are still some cracks in it. And while there's great color, I can see that a lot of this will probably have to be ground away. And piece B also has some pretty nice colors it also has a little bit of sand on it and there are cracks in it as well although it is difficult to discern how far in they go into the stone So during the shaping of piece A, one of the fractures gave way, as you can see here, and that gave me two pieces. Now I went ahead and just chucked that smaller piece aside, I figured I would continue to work the larger piece, and maybe I'll do the smaller piece later, but so far I've left it as is. And for piece B, I went ahead and uh, pretty much just picked a shape, started grinding it to reach that shape. I went with an oval, but as you can see here, there is a spot that's incredibly wonky. But I did manage to get it shaped down to something more pleasing, and I removed almost all of that odd shape. As far as piece A was concerned, I got all the inclusions out and it ended up being this lovely round shape. At this point, I still had one side to scrape a little bit off. You can kind of see it's not exactly even there, but that was simple enough. And so off I went to finish.
Now, before we show the finished stones, let's recap. Now, in the rough, 200 weighed 8.1 carats was 19.2 by 11.3 by 10 millimeters. When cut, piece A was 4.6 carats, 13 by 10 by 8.8 .8 millimeters, and piece B was 3.6 carats, 10.2 by 9.8 by 9.2 millimeters. And now, the finished piece A. It's 0 0.25 carats, is 4.7 by 2 millimeters. It cost me nothing. I don't know what it's worth. I'll explain in a minute. It's bobby tone, well, it's crystal, and its brightness is 3. Now, piece B finished. It is 1.25 carats, 9.2 by 7 by 3.6 millimeters. Cost me nothing, and I value this probably about $70. Argue with me if you like. It is an N9 with a B3. And now for the good in piece A. It has fantastic colors and great pattern. It is a wonderful round shape. And it has a great polish. And now for the bad. There are small pits and cutting marks in the faces. And it has a crack. And you can see it here, but there's better video later. For the ugly. Well, there's nothing. And now for piece B. The good. It has sweet color and beautiful pattern. It's bright. It's got a nice oval shape. And it's got the Technicolor chicken. And for the bad. There's a slight wonkiness in the shape of the back. It's close to an oval, but it's still a little bit off. And for the ugly, nothing. And now the finished stones. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Now, please enjoy the rest of this video and these fabulous opals. can feel the stars fall down where we are, where we are, living in the glow, ain't it? Beautiful.
Now their journey is complete. Until next time.